I'm William Andrew de Mumbrin II. I was born Vanderbilt Hospital, Nashville, Tennessee, September the 2nd, 1930. Mr. Bill de Mumbrin was the oldest of three children born to William and Etheta de Mumbrin. His father was a pathologist at Vanderbilt and was the first to discover that histoplasmosis was a fungal disease and not to be mistaken for tuberculosis. And it was his family that actually helped to settle what is now Nashville. My fourth great grandfather was Timothy de Mumbrin, who was the first white settler in Middle Tennessee. And he started a fur trading outfit, I guess. And, but a little bit of everything, I guess, went on there. And he was there when John Donaldson and all those people came. And he was welcome, welcomed them when they got there. In his early years, Mr. DeMundren enjoyed helping with the chores on their small farm. He attended one year of high school at Columbia Military Academy and then graduated from Duncan College Preparatory School in 1949. After two years at Vanderbilt, he joined the Army and served for nearly three years and decided he would pursue a degree in ag engineering at the University of Georgia. For the next 10 years, he worked all across the state for the Soil Conservation Service, but it was back at Vanderbilt where he would first meet his future bride, the former Murtis Cooper. She's a friend of my sister, and my sister was going to nursing program at Vanderbilt. And we met that way. And when I got out of the Army, I was thinking I need to get married. And I was sitting down and thinking of all the people I knew, one that I could get along with. And she came up. And after I got out of the Army, we got married. The DeMunrins adopted two children and now enjoy their three grandchildren and one great grandchild. In 1967, he retired from the Soil Conservation Service and they returned to Warren County, where Mrs. DeMundren's family was from. They purchased a farm where they had cattle, hogs, hay, and row crops. And Mr. DeMundren was one of the first farmers in the area to experiment with no-till. He also became active with the Warren County and Tennessee Livestock Associations and the whole York RC&D Council. He's been on the board of the Warren County Soil Conservation District Committee since 1976 and has served as chairman there since 1984. And since the family moved to Warren County, they've been dedicated to their church, the Westwood Church of Christ. You know, there is another life if you do it right, if you do reasonably well, follow the good book, everything. I mean, it is, it's a it's a comfort to know that things will eventually work out right. Mr. DeMundren has also known how important it is to be a part of Farm Bureau. His membership began over 60 years ago, and he served on the board of directors in Warren County for the past 22 years, and he's still active today. Well, the Farm Bureau just brings them all, it brings everybody together, and they understand the other fellow's problems. They, they're common, use common sense. And, and you know, that's getting to be in short supply. And it's shorter all the time, it seems like, because everybody's got something they're promoting and they just kind of forget about common sense anymore. Mr. Bill DeMundren's knowledge and common sense philosophy on the issues affecting farm and rural people has earned him respect throughout his county and across the state. And because of his longtime commitment and support, today he's awarded Farm Bureau's highest honor, the Distinguished Service Award. I think it's not deserved, but I, 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 I really appreciate it. I really do. I've done a lot of different things in my life, and probably, the, of course, I wanted to farm, but farming has been the best thing, and. Farm Bureau has promoted the farming end of it more than anybody else has. Well, it gives great pleasure to all of us to honor our distinguished leaders and all the service that they have done down through the years. And Mr. DeMumber, we really appreciate all you've done for us. Give you this plaque and thank you for your service and your time with us.
my daughter is in the communications type people, and she told me to thank them for the award and shut up. <laughs> So thank you.